Because we're Jewish, my father emigrated to Holland in 1933. He started a business manufacturing products used to make jam. But Hitler invaded Holland on May 10, 1940, a month before my 11th birthday. Five days later, the Dutch surrendered, the Germans arrived, and trouble started for the Jews. At 5.30 this morning, we closed the doors of our apartment building behind us, 10 days earlier than my parents had planned. And our destination? We walked two and a half miles in the pouring rain all the way to Father's office building. Our hiding place, the secret annex, is right behind it upstairs. Has anybody seen my shoes? Shoes? You took them, didn't you? Well, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, you're gonna be sorry. Am I? Absolutely. Hey, oh! I'm gonna get you. Are you? Yup. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Oh, you're strong, but you're not gonna get them away from me. Oh, you didn't think I was that strong, did you? Oh, you're mad. Oh, I'm getting really mad now, aren't you? And Peter. I just don't understand. I would never, never have done anything like that to you. The coat was 17 years old, for God's sakes. Believe me, those skins had seen their day. That's not the point, and you know it. I know we need the money. We have no money. Can you get that through your head? Uh, don't talk to her like that. You've never understood anything. God, here we go again. That was the last thing. The whole world gone. You've still got us, haven't you? I took the last memory of my father. <laughs> Do we have to hear about your father again? If you weren't so attached to your father, and the coat, and our apartment, and all our goddamn possessions, we would be in America by now. It's not her fault. Oh, please. It was you too, you know. You don't want to go to America. I stayed for you. Believe me, I knew which way the wind was blowing. Oh, sure. You always know everything. Mother, please stop. Your mother will never listen. If I could just say one thing. No! You cannot. You say too much already, and it's none of your business anyway. You shouldn't have said that, Mother. What? You hurt her feelings. Oh, well, I apologize, all right? I apologize to everyone! I want him to leave. Leave? Go where? Anywhere. I understand you, Mrs. Fry, but really- They have to! I can't take it here with them! Edith, you know how upset you've been- That has nothing to do with it. Edith, we're all living under terrible strain. It won't happen again! Never! I promise. I want them to leave. You put us out on the street? There are other hiding places. We will find something. Don't worry about the money. I'll find you the money. Mr. Frank, you told my husband you'd never forget what, you, what he did for you when you first came to Amsterdam. If my husband had any obligation to you, it's been paid for. Edith, I've never seen you like this, for God's sake. You can't throw Peter out. Anne's right. You can't send Peter away. Peter can stay. It wouldn't feel right without father. Mother, please. They'd be killed on the street. They can stay until Meat finds them a place. But we're switching rooms. I don't want him near the food. Let's divide it up right now. We're not dividing up some rotten potatoes. Mr. Frank. Mr. Dussel. Mr. Mr. Dussel, Frank. please. No, stop. Mark. No Mark. more. No more, Mr. Oh, Dussel. Please, I can't take it. Well, that's happening. No! Mr. Margo. Mr. Dussel. Everyone back to your rooms. Eat it. Mr. Stern. I think the potatoes can wait. Just let them wait! <laughs> 